boys, it's Harm None. Today we're going to be customizing the Declassy Hot Ring Saber in Grand Theft Auto Online. This thing looks like a NASCAR to me, maybe like an older NASCAR. I've never customized this car before though, so I'm pretty excited to actually get into this. Let's hop in right now. All right guys, so we are in the mod shop. We're going to start off with the armor, of course. Go all the way up on that, as well as the brakes and the engine. Now this car has no bumper options. I'm not exactly super surprised because I think it is based off of NASCAR. It doesn't have headlights or taillights either. So it's not even supposed to be road legal. So that's that's cool. Uh, we could add underglow to this thing. I don't think that we will. Uh, I, I, feel like, I feel like we don't need the underglow. Uh, we do have a bunch of livery options, which is cool. We're going to see what these look like. So we got number one, Redwood, eight, Fort Zancudo. That's cool. 28 U Tool, 33 Atomic Tires, 19 Patriot Beer, 50 Bank of Liberty, 71 Shrewsbury Shotguns, the 65 Lucky Plucker, the 56 Device, we have the 48 P's and Q's, 62 Air Hurler, the 13 Bean Machine, that is sick actually, the 69 Republican Space Rangers, that's also pretty dope. We got the 26 Jock Cranley car the 53 Big Logs car, the 30 Flint Tools car, 39 Globe Oil, 66 Righteous Slaughter, cool. We have the 23 LTD Gasoline, 42 Logger Light, 34 Cover Up Paints, 43 Rain, and 20 Mine Mocked. Okay, and so these ones are locked. So in order to unlock this, I have to play six San Andreas Super Sport races. So that's interesting, okay. Okay, so all of these ones are locked because I have not actually played these events yet. So that's cool. I do think we're going to have to go for the number 13 bean machine. I think that is absolutely lethal. So we must go for that. Next up for the respray. Honestly, I feel like white kind of looks the best, to be honest. I think we're going to go for ice white for the primary and for the secondary, I guess. Okay, so the secondary actually only does the roll cage. Hmm. Let's do the roll cage in black then. I think that makes sense. Let's actually make it matte black. Why not? Next up, we got the suspension. We can lower this thing down quite a bit. Let's do it. Why not? The transmission. We're going to go all the way up on that as well as the turbo. We got the wheels next. And uh, honestly, I do kind of just like the look of these. I might just leave them alone, to be honest, guys. I think they look really good. We can put bulletproof tires on them, though, which we will do. And for the windows, I could tint them out. Oh, it only does the back windows. Yeah, let's tint those out. Why not? Okay, guys, so there we have it. That's the bean machine. Let's take this thing down to the ground. We're going to do a sound test and a review. All right, guys, let's see what the bean machine is actually sounding like. All I know is the bean machine is absolutely lethal, and I'm keeping this car forever. Off the line, it is rear wheel drive only, so it does seem to have a decent amount of wheel spin. Let's actually just make sure it's rear wheel drive only. I'm pretty sure that it is. Yes, it sure is. Very cool. Okay, well, the bean machine, absolute beast as far as I'm concerned. Let's see how this thing actually performs. Okay, it's raining out, which is not exactly ideal for this test, I feel like. Uh, I think this thing does sort of have like racing slicks on it, it feels like, so I'm not really sure how well it's going to perform in the rain. It is quite quick though. Uh, the acceleration is definitely... Oh, okay. Uh, the acceleration, like I was saying, is definitely very good. Uh, I have a feeling that this car is not going to be able to turn very well. And this is going... This is a great, a great review already. So this is just going well. All right, let's see how it does on this corner. Oh, oh, the back end does like to slide out. I can confirm that. It uh, definitely doesn't have the greatest uh, the greatest grip in the rear end. Uh, the front feels pretty planted. I feel like I can actually get the car to turn. It's just the rear end uh, doesn't like to follow the, uh, the path that the front is taking, shall we say. Coming up to the cornering section right here. Let's see how it does. Okay, it drifts a lot. And it's a little bit uncontrollable, but it's not too bad. Oh, yikes. Okay, well, 
Definitely, definitely not going to be a car that's going to be super good for uh, for handling. I want to say for twisty sections of road um, like this that I'm on right now, as you guys can see. This might be one of the more bad handling cars that I've ever tested, I think. That's not a knock against it. I think this thing is meant to go around a circuit that is a circle, uh, similar to a NASCAR track, and uh, it's not really meant to do much more than that, I feel like. So I'm sure if there was a circuit with banked corners and it is an oval, I think it would definitely do pretty well. With that being said, the acceleration of the car is very, very good, and it's not it's not like that uncontrollable. Like it's not uncontrollable to the point where you can't drive it. Like you just have to slow down and you know brake for the corners and stuff like that. It's definitely still drivable. The car costs I want to say about eight hundred thousand. I can't remember. I bought it a couple days ago before I customized it, but I want to say it's around eight hundred thousand. And for that price, if you want a car that's really good in a straight line, I would say it's probably worth buying. If you're a fan of NASCAR, it's definitely probably worth buying. If you want your car to handle extremely well and to throw it at uh, twistier sections of road and for it to, uh, you know, just do its thing and uh, grip, probably not for you. It's it's a cool car. Uh, the Bean Machine is an absolutely lethal livery. I'm probably going to keep this car forever because, you know, just because of the Bean Machine livery, I think that is absolutely gold. But yeah, I must say I, I might not use it all that often. But the bean machine definitely uh, definitely will be staying in my garage, that's for sure. So anyway, guys, yeah, if you uh, want a straight line car, this thing is pretty good. If you you know if you don't mind it handling a little bit badly, you know you could you could definitely uh, you could definitely make do with this thing. It's uh, it doesn't handle like badly. It's just not as nice as uh, I would prefer it to be, shall we say? Anyway, guys, I think that's pretty much it for the customization and the review today. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like. Comment what you think of the bean machine down below. Subscribe if you guys are new, and I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.